Hi, I'm the Arm, and today I'll be looking at the Tennis for Two simulator for Windows. For those of you who don't know what Tennis for Two is, it was a game developed in 1958 on the Oscilloscope, making it the second ever video game. I say second as I believe the first ever game was OXO for the EDASC PC. I will be providing a link for this um, simulator and for the ESAC PC simulator, which comes with OXO. Now, as for this game itself, um, the simulator has three modes of play. The first is start single player, which they call single player, but I, it's really you have to play with a friend because there's almost no way to play by yourself. Then there's start game versus computer, which they call tennis or Tron, which is the most fun out of all of them. And then there's play online, but there is absolutely no way to do it unless you know a friend that has a game as you have to put in their IP address. And yeah, but if any of you want to face me, I will put up my IP address, which is already in the video. And yeah, set up a time and date and I'll play you on this. Now, I'll show you the single player now. The graphics on the simulator are Pong level which you would expect. But the graphics on the actual thing, as it was not done on TV but on a scotoscope, are actually a bit better. Wavy lines on the screen, but the graphics are a bit better. Now the main control on this is you move with the mouse and you differences between this and Pong other than the view is you can control the shot and there's no paddles. Now you can move the shot with the mouse, you use the left button to uh, mouth button to shoot and the right one for the other player to shoot. You could both use the same one but it's a lot more annoying. So pretty much you just shoot, the other person shoots, yeah. Now as for graphics in the game, I found that the rare one is better as it actually has this curved ball, it's a complete circle. And how long did it take them in Atari and that took till I think the NES to come up with a circle ball? Um, now as for audio, it's pretty basic. Here, yeah, take a listen. Yeah, pretty much up to Pong. And that crackle you heard is in the actual audio. Now the game keeps going until they miss a shot that they can't get back and space resets the ball. Um, now for I'll show you how to play against the computer. It's pretty much the same way thing. You can only take one shot while you're on your side, and then they take a shot, you, so forth and so on. Now, I found the main gripe with the computer. I found two, actually. One, it's way too easy. I don't think um, it's possible to lose to it. Now, the other problem, I would say, is no score system. You have to write this down yourself. Now, on the original machine, I understand there was no score system. But on this, there should be. Especially if you're playing online. Now, hopefully, I haven't played online, but I'm hoping they do have a score system. If not, you expect the other per um, you and the other person to both have a notebook or something and write it down. Like, that's just plain retarded. You tell me they couldn't put in an extra bit of code into the simulator for it to have scores? <sighs> anyway. I can just picture people online talking on MSN or something while doing it. I kicked your ass! Anyway, my final thoughts on this game is, uh, it was the second video game ever. It's really fun. Um, well, if you're playing with a friend, then yeah, it can be fun at times. The graphics are good, especially for the time. Sound, eh, pongs pretty much. And yeah. So again, if anyone wants to face me, I'll definitely hook that up. And I give this game about 10 out of 10. And, well, this was mainly a test to see if my equipment worked. And peace out.